Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your tarot and oracle reading for the week of November 6th through the 12th, 2023. First card out for you is Yin, beautiful, divine, feminine energy. I am seeing you resting, relaxing, but I'm also seeing you like just kind of pulling into your own energy this week and kind of like just doing a lot of self-care. And you know, the self-care, that phrase has had so much buzz around it. And I'm not just talking like doing face masks and bubble baths. Like this is like legitimate self-care, like going food shopping, doing your laundry, cleaning your house, whitening your teeth, <laughs> going to the doctor, whatever you need to do to fill your own cup up. And some of you may also need to just get some things off of your to-do list. I've been feeling this a lot. Like you're the last sign I'm doing. The other air signs, Libra and Gemini, had a very similar message come through for them. And I also see it a lot in the collective this week, probably because the moon is waning, it is retreating back into itself, and we're being asked at this time to take care of ourselves and make sure that our cup is full. Next, we have faith with the third eye chakra. Your spirit guides are asking you to have faith in your plans, your dreams, your hopes, and your wishes. And they're advising you definitely to take care of yourself at this time. And I even see here this amethyst, which is a stone of protection, spiritual protection. You are safe, you are protected, you are fine. And your spirit guides are saying, as you nurture yourself and your dream, have faith that it will come true. But don't neglect it. Don't neglect yourself. Don't let your dreams fall to the wayside. You know, and what does this look like? When people let their dreams fall to the wayside, it looks a lot like procrastination. And the example I use often, because I hear it so often, is people saying, oh, I wanna start going to the gym, I wanna start working out. And they say it week after week after week, and they're like, oh, well, I have so much going on, I'll probably go next week, I'll probably go next week, I'll probably go next month, you know? And it's like, you know, once you're in that routine, you know you're supposed to be going every week, like <laughs> multiple times a week here, so what what's the point in waiting you know your your health shouldn't wait it should be top priority so try not to let your self-care go neglected and also your dreams your goals your wishes don't let working towards that go neglected either your energy oracle this week is the angel of balance in reverse so clearly there has been an imbalance and i feel like you've been very much in your masculine energy recently aquarius um focusing on your external relationships focusing on everyone outside of yourself uh, making sure that everyone's taken care of everyone else's dreams are being worked towards getting distracted by just distractions you know like social media tv what have you and it has caused you to be a little bit unbalanced and you may be seeing signs of this in your reality such as things breaking or getting stuck in traffic or like just little things like that little irritations taking place it's because your energy is unbalanced right now and in order to create that balance again get into your yin feminine energy of taking care of yourself self-care okay so to further elaborate we're gonna get six cards two rows of three from the manga tarot first card out is the queen of cups in reversed okay you may be dealing with a water sign this week cancer scorpio or pisces and you know i feel like the vision that's coming up for me is that um in taking care of yourself in nurturing yourself um, and making the decision that you want to make that's best for your future. You may accidentally offend someone by that. I, I don't know. Um, like for example, if you're taking your designated time off work, your vacation off work, uh, you may have a coworker or boss, you know, mad that you're taking that time off. Like, oh, well, now I gotta, you know, fill your hours. It's like, okay, it's not my fault. You're understaffed. Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> or... I don't know, like you decide to take very much like needed self-care time and you, st you set boundaries with people, you know, like, no, I'm not going to do a favor for you today. I really need time to just like get my home and myself in order. Um, and you know what? Someone may be pissy about that, but that's not your problem. <laughs> Second card out is the Three of Swords reversed. This is a great card in reverse because it shows you no longer caring about a situation that was heartbreaking in the past. Okay, this could be like a breakup. Ooh, you know what I'm seeing? 
um, some of you may have someone around you who is a little bit like, how do I put this? They may have broken your heart in the past. This could be an ex even, and you may still be in contact with whoever this is. And you establish boundaries, like super healthy boundaries. Like, okay, fine then, I'm gonna lose my feelings for you. I'm gonna treat you just as a friend. I'm gonna stop pouring so much energy into you. And then it's like, they, they're they crying about it now, you know? They're like, well, wait, what do you mean you're establishing these boundaries? Uh, but you're completely over it, you know? It, it's like one of those situations. Uh, some of you may have established some boundaries or are establishing boundaries with family members. In particular, I'm seeing a mother figure here or a mother-in-law figure. Uh, for some reason, with the Queen of Cups being in reverse, it feels like an old overbearing like female figure in your life who just wants to like who's very clingy to you right now uh, for whatever reason and you may be establishing some boundaries I'm seeing someone watching may have a child or a baby and like either your mother or your partner's mother may be like or, or sister maybe like wanting to be too involved constantly at your house and you're just like, look, I need some personal time, some personal space. That's what I'm seeing Aquarius. You need some personal space to yourself to like figure things out and like get your own life into order. And like, you don't want to entertain people this week, you know, or like entertain people too much this week rather. And so by saying no and establishing those boundaries, you know, I do see someone sort of getting a little pissy about that, but again, not your problem. So <laughs> third card out is the Ace of Swords. Exactly. You're protecting your energy, protecting yourself. And there's a clear mindedness coming through for you this week because you're taking the time to you know, do this self care, you know, there's a new path opening up for you as well. A new idea that is worth exploring. And I'm seeing new information, new communication coming in. I'm also seeing someone is going to talk to you about their feelings. And I think you're going to be surprised at how much feelings uh, certain individuals have towards you that they never expressed before. Uh, I don't know why this message is coming through. It's coming through very intuitively. I feel like you'll be surprised. And I feel like this may be multiple people in your life, not just one. There may be multiple people in your life who come forward and tell you how they've been feeling about a certain predicament that they're in with you or your relationship dynamic or something that you did or something like that. They're going to speak and say their feelings on it. And it'll, it might be a little shocking. And that's just what I'm feeling intuitively. The cards aren't showing anything like shocking. It just feels a little bit like, maybe not shocking is the right word. I feel like you psychically were picking up on that, but you never thought you'd actually hear them say it. It's like one of those situations. I don't know. Uh, so someone may be coming forward to you talking about uh, their feelings towards you. And this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be any relationship in your life. Um, platonic, family, co-worker, romantic, etc. Um, a new path is definitely emerging for you though and I'm seeing clear-mindedness. And it's it's interesting. I feel like from your self-care, prioritizing yourself, your well-being first, uh, it really makes people respect you. Ace of Swords, you're very well respected because of this and that's why they come forward to you and they don't want to waste any time um play games delay like they want to be real with you uh second row out fourth card we have the king of cups in reverse oh my gosh right underneath that queen of cups in reverse this is a matching couple and they're both in reverse here and you know what guys uh when a matching couple like this comes into a reading it usually is talking about you and your partner like romantic partner but for some reason i'm seeing this as a couple in your life like outside of you and your partner like this may be a couple like this could be a friend some friends that you have who are a couple like if you hang out with couples this could be your parents this could be your partner's parents like think of all the couples in your life okay that you know there is one couple in particular that i am seeing is like uh <laughs> not <sighs> It feels a little bit like emotional manipulation. Uh, you're gonna have to let me know on this one. You're gonna have to listen to your intuition. Um, I'm also seeing though, this could be someone in your life, whether it's your partner or someone else, is not happy with you and a certain relationship that you have. And this, again, doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be, it could be any relationship, your relationship with your kid, your relationship with a friend, with an ex, etc. 
I am seeing someone in your life is not happy that you are friends with or have some sort of connection to someone else. And they may be expressing that to you at this time. Um, mm, that's really interesting. Uh, wow. I don't know why I'm seeing something here about other people's families though. So like in-laws or like your partner's family may come up this week for some reason. Uh, some of you may be meeting them or there may be some worries about like you your dynamic everything um this could be your own fears by the way or your partner's fears like for example like let's just say you have a child with someone else and you found a new partner who's amazing wonderful but maybe their family's a little bit more conservative and your partner or you are afraid that they're gonna judge you for like having that child it's something dumb like that like i can't stand it um i don't know i would just be aware um of anyone who is like emotionally immature like that everyone has baggage everyone has a past everyone has their unique traits and quirks and as long as there's no red flags like let love be love you know um but i am seeing a certain couple not approving of a decision or of something this could even be your own parents not approving of something and it's like who cares you know who cares i don't even want to talk about it fifth card out seven of swords reversed wow Seven of Swords reversed right underneath that Three of Swords reversed. So these two cards upright, let's talk about it. <laughs> when these two cards come out upright in a reading, this is lying, cheating, stealing to me, 100%. Uh, but it's in reverse, so to me, I feel like there was lying, cheating, or stealing in the past, in your past, okay? And you're over it emotionally, and you establish very strong boundaries. It's almost like that thing where like, <laughs> like the simplest example I could give, someone slaps you in the face, and you decide, okay, I'm gonna have some boundaries. I don't like being slapped in the face, so I'm not gonna see you anymore. <laughs> and then that person gets mad, like, why aren't you seeing me anymore? Like, gee, I don't know, maybe because you slapped me in the face. Like, what do you mean? Why are you getting mad at me for establishing a boundary only after you hurt me? Like, it's crazy. I'm, I'm getting some crazy people in your life who like, just don't have common sense. You know, really, you're cutting me off after I cheated on you with your best friend? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm blocking you. You're never talking to me again. Like. What do you mean? <laughs> really? I'm not invited to your house anymore after I stole all of your silverware? Like, yeah, duh. <laughs> Why are you getting mad at this? I don't know. Really, you're not gonna invite me to your party after I called your mom a pig? Like, yeah, duh. <laughs> I, it's just common sense. Like, don't be mad that you don't hold a higher place in my life, that I'm establishing boundaries after you hurt me it's not even before you hurt me it's after you hurt me so three of swords seven of swords reverse crazy this is like you know a dad who is never in your life like you you met him when he, you turned 18 he introduced himself and then you get pregnant you have a kid and he's mad that you didn't name the kid after him it's like what kind of crack are you smoking like why would i do that <laughs> it's something dumb like it feels very family for a lot of you like this feels like family related I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have to be family related, but I feel that strongly for a lot of you. It's it's crazy. Like you're expecting me to treat you with all this love, respect, admiration after you literally punch me in the face. I don't get it. Final card out, page of wands. I don't think you care though, guys. I just want to clarify that. I don't think you care. I don't think that this thing is going to ruin your week. It's just crazy stuff. Like <laughs> You're, you're just like looking at people and how they're reacting to you getting angry at like you or your partner or whatever and you're just like you know what this is the week where i just kind of stay home maybe get some cleaning some things done you know mind my business <laughs> i am not putting up with all that crazy so uh and i feel this energy strongly for all of the air signs you know just this energy of like going within yourself self-care taking care of yourself doing your own thing with your own little family whatever that means your chosen family and um avoiding all the crazy <laughs> uh you you've given enough to everyone around you to appease everyone around you and spirit's saying it's okay like to not see certain people this week <laughs> all right it's okay to like tell your mother-in-law hey like don't come over this week it's okay to tell your sister-in-law hey don't call me this week I'm, I'm just busy i'm doing stuff i'm taking care of myself I'm just saying like that's fine and if people respect you they will respect that like they'll say okay I get it like you know we all have our mental health things and um you know sometimes you just need to get away from everyone do like a digital cleanse detox 
don't call anyone for a week. <laughs> Sometimes we just need that. And I feel like, you know, this is one of those weeks for you where it's like, there's so much nonsense going on, specifically with like couples or families around you. And uh, you're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna back away from all that. <laughs> I'm letting go. Page of Wands, there's a page of Wands right underneath that Ace of Swords. There's a new beginning here. Okay, I'm seeing so much passion, love, communication. Um, and, and you know what, it feels very special. I feel like there's someone in your life who is very special and they could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, possibly Venus. They don't have to be though. And it's like, you know what, you're my person. I'll contact you, I'll call you, but I, I'm not seeing anyone else this week. Straight up, like y'all might be antisocial this week and that is totally fine. Um, some of you also with the three of swords reversed, seven of swords reversed, you may be cutting people off this week as well, uh, using boundaries, you know? Like, okay, this is what you wanna be in my life. This is, you know, all I'm giving you. Um, so yeah, that's that's that, guys. Thank you for joining me for this reading. This was very interesting. Your your attitude, your energy this week is very fun. I will say, like, it, it's funny, it kind of like you're just like not caring, and I'm here for it. So watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs though to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. I just posted the monthly readings for November as well. If you want to watch for the entire month ahead. Um, like this video, comment how it resonated down below. I love hearing your stories and this one, I want to know what's going on here. So let me know. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my goddess energy intention oil there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.